Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The parking, great. Just fucking great, you guys, there's no parking here. Burlington has no parking, you heard it here first. Burlington has no parking, none. Anyways guys, how are you doing? So, today we're gonna be doing another installment of our series of I Spent 500 Dwellers. And today, we're doing Burlington. And you guys, I didn't even know Burlington had makeup. It was y'all. Y'all exposed me. And you told me you go to Burlington for makeup. And I'm like, I thought Burlington literally only had like coats. Uh, what's going on? I literally thought they had jackets only. And like Burlington always in my mind was coats. Am I crazy? Is this a mandala? Is this a mandala effect? So today we're gonna try to spend 500 doulas on a full face of Burlington makeup. And we're gonna see what kind of makeup they have. If they don't have any makeup there, I'm literally, you're not even gonna see this. You're not even gonna see this because I have to fucking quit it. Okay guys, so anyway, that's what today's video is gonna be. We're gonna do a full face of Burlington makeup. I pray that there is makeup here. If there's not, I'll cry. But that's what today's video is gonna be. As always, if you guys like this video, if you guys don't like me, Please don't fucking watch it, no drill with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like when we do our 500 Dwola series, if you guys like the games. Happy game, Mike, cause you know you gang and stuff. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. You guys see that right there? Burlington. You guys, I have a rash on my neck, by the way. Like, do you see this shit? I was wearing a necklace last night and it started to get itchy and then now I have this. So if you see anything, let's go. Will we drop $500 at Burlington? Only time will tell. Only time and the store will tell. There's also a Ross right next to it, which I think is really cool, because I do like Ross. They've had some really good makeup out in Ross as well, but let's head on over to Miss Burlington. I keep wanting to say Burlington bag. Burlington bag. So it has ladies, men's, kids, baby, home, coats. See, it has coats. Wow. This feels like a mall. What in the hell? Y'all, you were right. There is a beauty section here. And you guys are always fucking right. Yes, you are. Now let's dive in. What kind of makeup do we have here? Is it like drugstore vibes? Or do we have name brands? We'll find some. We'll find some goods. Hmm. So this is more so like the skincare section. Some masks, some foot things. For the foot fetish girlies out there, shout out to you. Buy my feet pics. Not an all about love palette, you guys. Um, well. I think we're gonna have to put the pride back. Um, we don't, we don't want it. And I know we talk about like rainbow washing at pride. Oh, oh, I get it. When yeah. they say like, yeah. you know, hi gay. So I'm just scanning you guys. A lot of these brands actually, actually have never heard of. Of course we have like things I do recognize, like for example, Maybelline, some Maybelline mascara. This we actually have from Glamlight, the blue raspberry palette. I think I might actually snag this. I might take this with me. It's for 12 bucks, usually 18, I believe. So I might actually snag this palette. This actually looks really pretty too. This 10 color glow getter. That looks nice. I'm snagging these. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of things and we're gonna test, test them out together and we'll see the more goodies you find. Okay guys, so we went in. We went in on product and we're going to go check out, but I got a lot of shit. We're gonna test some stuff out. Hey Paris. Hey girly. You can always buy a new dress, but you can't like buy a new life. All right fam, let's send it out to Manny out in the studio. Manny on the field out. I ended up spending like 150, which I'm kind of shocked about because I literally bought so many things. Um, I try, you guys, I try and try to spend more, I fucking swear to God. But they didn't have all the categories I needed, so. Hmm. Did I just crash my car? <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys right now. Thank you so much to Manny out in the field. I feel like I'm gonna fucking say the moon in the name of the moon, I'll punish you. I have the power of God and anime on my side. Wait, you ah! Okay, anyway. Uh, thank you so much for out on the field. We are back in the studio currently, and we have some goodies. So you guys, we have hella goodies. Right here we have Burlington bags. Literally Burlington bags. I also bought this. Um... <laughs> so this is actually a Treasure X Monster Gold. Um, and I bought this because I wanna unbox it, and it's a toy. And I did a TikTok with a Magic Mixie, and now I kinda wanna do it with this. Cause like, it was only 10 bucks. Um, anyway, we got this also this huge Paris Hilton set. Paris! 12 piece full face brush set with UV sponges for $14.99. We have Paris Hilton here. Okay, so we're gonna go and bust out some of these goodies and we're gonna lay them out on the table and we're gonna see what from Burlington is worth 
the cane. I will say immediate first impressions when it came to like recognizable brands in the stores. I feel like Burlington was the ones I had the least recognizable brands. Things I did recognize were like, I saw a creme shop. I have something from Glam Light, but a lot of the brands I didn't really recognize. So I'm actually really unsure of the quality of the products here. I will say also there was a Ross right next to Burlington. So if you're looking for makeup, I feel like I would stick to Ross instead. Ross has had better stuff. Like I've literally been to Ross for makeup and it was better. It was, sorry, it's the truth. I got this too, I thought it was so insane. Look at this, look at this massive body bend blender, $4.99. Usually it's $9, so it's a, it's like, a, I think it's supposed to be a dupe for the Real Techniques one. Look how big this is. It's the hardest punch I've ever felt. Fuck. Okay, so that gives me little hope. I'm gonna go wet all the sponges I have. I have this one from the Creme Shop. It is, oh my God, X-Trolls. I love a troll. Have you guys seen the Trolls movie? It's so good. Like, actually so good. Okay, let me go soak these and see what they feel like. <sighs> Wish me luck. Did this even grow? Tell me, did it grow? It did. I couldn't tell because it was already massive, you know? Again, like I was saying, it's not the softest sponge ever. It's pretty firm. Actually, same with the Creme Shop one too. It's pretty darn firm. I'm like, why are y'all so hard? Y'all out here with morning wood. Hard is a rock. That's what she said. <clears throat> so I also grabbed some tools, you guys. I grabbed a bunch of tools. I feel like they're more so in that realm, like palette quality stuff, mm, but they have a lot of sponges. They have a lot of brushes. They have a lot of that kind of stuff. So I also grabbed this brush. I'm not exactly sure the brand, it's covered. Creme shop, it's another peach of creme shop. So this brush, I got it for $3.99 and it looked promising to me, it really did. Look at this, this looks really promising. Like, look at that. Berra, that looks promising as fuck. I got this set, this is $9.99 for all these brushes. What if they're good, you guys? What if we're onto something here? Wow, the smell of that, that was a plastic train and just all aboard and it just hit me like a brick. Let's just see, these are Talia Sodi. Okay, so this is what they look like. I will say they are not packed bristles whatsoever. They're pretty loose. And I, I thought they were gonna be a little bit more packed, a little heavier. It's giving Wayne Goss vibes. Quality, not so much. So let's kind of dip in. You guys, I was bummed. They didn't have a lot of makeup that I was like really interested in and really wanting. They did have some real techniques though. I have some real techniques brushes in case. It's all doomed. In case we're all doomed, we have some real techniques. Okay guys, so they didn't have a single foundation there, not one. But what I did grab was I grabbed this Profusion Conceal, six color concealer palette. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a, like make your own foundation slash cream bronzer contour vibes. So if I look like shit, mind your business. This guy retails for only $4. So do I have a ton of hope and praise and there's, there's polka dots on it. I'm showing you on my phone. Hold on. Hold on. This is serious. What's with the polka dots? What's with all the polka dots? I'm so confused. Other ones don't really have that. Why is that one like that? It's sweating. Sweating like a sinner in church. Okay, so they're not touched, but for some reason they have like, they have like pebbles. Okay, so I'm gonna take our little brush and I'm gonna take the shade Nude and we're gonna use this as almost our cream foundation. So I'm gonna go and run that in. Fuck, I have no primer, huh? Let me put some primer on, hold on. Hold on. So let's go in with shade Nude. Why is that low key like a really good color match for me though? Okay, we're gonna pat this in. I mean, it's a concealer palette. I would assume it's gonna give us some coverage that it's gonna be decent. It kind of reminds me, do you know what this reminds me of a lot? It reminds me of the ABH old school like contour cream palette. It's kind of what this is right here. And I will say it's covering me on up, you guys. Look at that. It's covering me. Whoa, it's working. This brush is also like kind of great. Depositing really nicely and it was only three bucks. Like that's pretty good. I wish it was packed a little bit more. I wanted to have more bristles in it, but you know, for $3.99, I am not being choosy. You know what I'm saying? You know what, on a random side note, this is a, such a random side note, Lunar Beauty is now in 13 Loon. So shout out to Miss 13 Loon, you guys. I'm really, really excited. They're a retailer and we might be going into JCPenney soon, which would be literally insane because I started my entire makeup journey in Sephora inside JCPenney. So that would be wild. That would be really wild. So just, you can find Lunar Beauty on 13 Loon. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I'm gonna take shade ivory, you guys. I'm gonna take shade ivory. And we're gonna conceal with Miss Ivory. And we're gonna, what we're gonna do as soon as we have finished the concealer, God, that will not spread, will it? That one, it won't spread as easily as the other color did. For some reason, it's like really heavy, like really, 
really intense. Let me pat it in. The concealer gave me about zero coverage under my eyes, so there's that. I wanna take like this fucking big ass bitch right here and just kind of press it in all of this. This is the hardest sponge I've ever felt. This is one of the hardest sponges I ever did feel. So I'm gonna probably pass on this one. Let me just say that. We're gonna pass on this big ass sponge. The Real Techniques one is a much, 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 much softer. So that's probably what this is a dupe for, the Real Techniques one. And it's a no. Okay, so this as like a foundation, it works. I'm very heavy. Don't get me wrong, like my face. My base, it is very heavy and it doesn't want to blend very easily when it comes to like the under eyes and stuff, but it is working. It's definitely, definitely working. I'm just really heavy, you know? But it, you can definitely accomplish things. It's giving me a satin finish. It's like cream foundation. Think of it as like a heavier full coverage cream foundation. For some reason, the coverage isn't as good as for underneath my eyes. I don't know why. It's almost like ivory wasn't as pigmented as nude was, if that makes any sense. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm just here. You know, I'm just cool. I'm just a queer. I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like on my phone really quickly so you guys can see the coverage is definitely, definitely there when it comes to the nude all over the face. My pores like look good. The foundation itself actually looks good. It's just really heavy and very intense. And there's like some patchiness kind of going on, but you know, for four bucks and a pinch, I'm not mad. It's creasing, obviously, but hmm. I don't like this brush. Sorry, Real Techniques, like you're you're literally flopping me right now. And that is devastating. It is, because I had faith in you. And I don't like you. And I don't like you. I don't like you. And I don't like you. So this is our base so far. I do think that we look a little shocking. Raise your hand if you think we look shocking. Okay, I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Golden and we're gonna use this almost like as our cream bronzer because I don't have cream bron- this color. The color is- it's coloring. It is a color. I feel like when you blend- I'm using the cream sponge, the creme sponge. I feel like when we blend it, we can get it to a good spot just to give us a little bit of dimension, but the color is a little bit like olive for me. It's a little more olive that I was expecting, but we are out here making this work and that's the whole point of this video by the way you guys i feel like i feel so awkward having to say this every time i do a video like this it makes me so uncomfortable having to say this but i gotta do it because i still get comments like this literally every single time so i do videos like this for people who want to know what's worth the coin maybe they might not have as much money to spend on product but they still want to have products that potentially work for them that's what these videos are for i get a lot of people that would be like i can't believe you're trying to make a challenge out of this where it's people like really have to buy this stuff and you're making fun of it. I am in no way, shape or form making fun of anything like that, like at all. The reason I do videos like this is because one, you guys ask for them. And two, I feel like I should be able to get to talk about any products at any price point. Like that's what my channel is. I'm a, I'm a beauty guru, I'm a beauty reviewer. Just because this isn't like my preferred makeup doesn't mean I can't review it for you guys if it is yours, you know? Like that's what I don't understand. And I always feel so uncomfortable getting comments that are like, it's really just not okay for you to do videos like this because you're making fun of people that can't afford other makeup and this is what they have to use. And I'm like, when and where did I do that? I, I literally don't understand why comments like that pop up every single time I do videos like this. Like I'm literally doing this for people that want to know what could work well from the drugstore, from the dollar store, from anywhere. Like, why not spend the money that you have on products from those places that work? Like, yeah, there might be some flops, but there might be some gems. I found so many different gems throughout the years of doing videos like this that like worked fantastically. So it's like, I do this for you guys, you know? I always just feel weird having to almost like give a disclaimer when I do videos like this. I don't know, it feels very uncomfortable to me. So I just wanted to quickly say that again, just like I do in every one of these single videos because people love to bitch at me for them. They really do. And I feel like these videos are us like learning together. That's why I do them. I want you guys to spend your hard earned money on things that will actually work and not be a complete and total disaster, you know? Okay, anyway, I feel like once I blended it all together, I think that my base looks actually pretty good. Like with, with the bronzery areas, I think that it looks really, really nice actually. And I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad. The little profusion palette is like kind of slaying me. Kind of slaying me the house down the boots, if you will. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this palette, guys. This is the Bebe or BB Flawless finish base palette it looks like this this was only seven dollars and it looked really promising to be honest to me it looked it gave me such like a at hope so it's a little chunky 
It's a bit, it's a bit chunky. Very gritty shimmers, but they are smooth. And I feel like when it comes to the mattes, we can make this work actually. So we're gonna try this out. I'm gonna take this little brush. I'm gonna take this like kind of pinky and coral, like these two right here, this shade and this shade. Boom, 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 boom. And we're going to pop that onto the cheeks. Okay, that's going on literally great. It's a little powdery. It's a little bit, you know, intense. They're not pressed very hard. And it's giving me a little tiachi smasa, but like, look how vibrant they can be. Like actually very, very vibrant. So I'm not mad at that. I don't have a powder. I wish I had a powder to set myself. Let me set myself with another finishing powder. Give me one second. Okay, so like I was saying, I have to admit you guys, I think that the blushes, though they are a little bit powdery and a little bit really pigmented and intense, I do think that we can get it to a nice spot. Let me just swatch them so you guys can see the colors of them. Like that's not bad. It's not bad. Do I think that you'll get a ton of use out of like the highlighters? Not necessarily. But the blushes, I think we can definitely make work. Look how pigmented my cheeks look. Like, that's not bad. That's not bad, Miss BB. I do wish the shimmers were a little bit better, but you know what? We're fine. I also grabbed this Carmindy Beauty Goddess Bronzer for three, four dollars. Golden Sand. Have you guys tried this one? I have not tried this brand. This is what it looks like. It looks kind of adorable, though. Very cute. This is the bronzer. The color itself looks really nice. I'm gonna take a little bit and just kind of set over the bronzy areas. Luckily, it doesn't have like shimmer to it. It's not very pigmented. It's a soft formula, very soft, very light. If you're any deeper than me, it's not gonna work. So let me just tell you that right now. Not gonna work. I feel like there's no color being deposited, to be quite honest. Like I just put so much all over my nose and like there's nothing showing up. I'll probably pass on this one. Not so great, not so great. Let's open our Paris set real quick. Ooh, okay, the, the sponges in the Paris, little Paris collection already feel about a million times better than the other sponges. So like way nicer. Let's go, okay, I, you guys, I also grabbed this. This was on the shelves. I grabbed this for $4.99. This is the Profusion Glow Up Multi-Dimension Liquid Glitter. This looked exactly like a dupe for the color. Do you guys remember the color effects ones that were like little glitter droppers? It looks exactly like that and like a specific color too. Like tell me that doesn't look like the cover effects ones. Perra. Okay, let me see. I'm just gonna use it a little bit as like our highlighter today to be honest. It's so dried out that it's become hollow. I'm gonna try to put a little bit on the back of my hand and use it from there. I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it onto the highest points. This literally reminds me so much of the cover effects one that's like a glitter. Just a little bit, just like a little like ns, a little ns, 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 you know? It's not that good though. Let me tell you that real quick. Let me just, let me break it to you really gently. It's a no, that is dry as my p Okie dokie, so that was another fail. So you guys, we've had we've had some wins and we've had some fails so far. And I think that's what these videos are about. It's so we, it's so fun. Let's move on to the brows, you guys. I grabbed this for the brows. It's the Four Beauty U. I actually can't, I don't know what that is. F-Y-R Foo Your. I literally don't know what it is. Okay, we have basically an entire range of brow products here. We have a brow soap. We have a brow wax, a brow pomade and brow powder. So we have quite the range. Are we about to do it back in the brows are fucked? Let's feel. Ooh. So since it's a brow soap, we're gonna activate it with some finishing spray. We're gonna grab a little spoolie and we're gonna run. Do you know how much product just went on here? Didn't have to spray it, apparently. Okay, we're gonna put this through. Literally nothing's happening. If anything, it's just washing my brows with like actual soap would. Nothing's happening. Okay, let's try the brow wax on the other side maybe. Definitely firmer, the wax is definitely firmer. Brow wax is better, brow soap, I don't know what, what happened with the brow soap. Don't know what happened, that was shocking. And it's turning white. Oh! We're gonna take the dark brown brow powder. Ooh, it's very pigmented. My brows feel like little grease balls. I actually don't even have words to describe what's going on here on this, on this day. What the fuck is going on in here on this day? I have no words. I don't have a fucking word, not one. We're just gonna do the best that we can. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and leave brows as is now because um, if I don't, I'll be here for about the next seven years. Are these not the shiniest brows you've ever seen? Oh, and there's, I'm missing all that. I'm not gonna question it. 
So this one, we're gonna go ahead and pass. We're gonna go ahead and pinchy pass on this guy. Okay, we're gonna take the Icy Palette. This guy retails for $12 from Glamlight. The whole thing's blue. <laughs> I didn't know that the entire thing was blue. That's fun for me. Really fun. We're gonna just go ahead and prime real quick. Okie dokie, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, I have very good faith though, even though these are all blue and I didn't, I didn't know what that was happening. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take glacial and icicles. I wanna to start to run that on the outer corner. Oh, quality stunning though. You know, might necessarily not be my most like usable color story that I got. We do have a very high quality product because Glamlight is sickening. They are, they have great quality. Great quality, you guys. So if you guys see, if you see Glamlight at Burlington, I think you guys should definitely, definitely snag. Okay, I also grabbed this palette, you guys, because I was kind of intrigued by it. These are the Beauty Treats 10 Silky Eyeshadow Pigments for $4.99. So I kind of wanted to try this in the center of my lids just to see what it could look like with a, um, kind of like a halo eye, you know? A little halo eye moment. I want to take this shade right there, because it looks fucking nice. Feeling it? All y'all feel like that. Didn't realize didn't realize that only the first portion of that was good. So we're not gonna use this again. We're gonna take one of these shades instead. We're gonna take Chillin'. Oh, it feels so nice, you guys. Glam Light is a yes. If you guys see Glam Light at your local Burlington, I would check out. Is this the most you know usable, wearable color story? Not necessarily, but if there's other Glam Light stuff, I think you guys would be really happy. Oh, we're cool for the summer. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually try my hardest to save this look. And if we can't save this face, then we're just gonna live. Um, so I'll be right back. <laughs> Tell me why I look like a gay superhero. I do, I really do. It's like a little blue mask on. So with the look, there's just not many things you can do. You know what I mean? I did this little like blue halo eye vibes, kind of more avant-garde. Brought the shimmer really, really low. And that's that. Isaiah's mad. So let's try this little profusion liner. An espresso, this was $3.99. <gasps> Ooh, super dark. I have faith. Okay, let's see. It's very dark, I'm liking, I'm liking. It's a felt tip liner, not my favorite. I do wish it was a little bit more. What's going on? Cause something's happening. So the liner is spreading into eye wrinkles because of how liquidy it is. So it's so liquidy that it is going into my eyes wrinkles. Can you guys see that right there at the beginning of my eye? See how it's transferring? Yep. I wanna know why that liner is so liquidy and was like falling into my freaking wrinkles, dude. Like, I've never had a liner do that ever in my whole life. I will say that when I layer it, it builds nicely. It got it gets to a really dark, intense color. It's not as liquidy, but that first layer, you guys, it's haunting. You really, really have to build up to get to like an, a good opacity. But once you get there, you get there and it looks pretty good, but ooh, y'all saw those wrinkles. So the liner is definitely savable. I do think that it's savable. I didn't, you know, love it immediately first impressions. Once you built it up, I do think it, got, it built to like a nice opacity for sure. It is felt tip, which I don't prefer. I'm like, um, this video has made me a mess. It has made me a full blown mess. Yeah. I also had this here as well. Creme Eyeliner Eddie Funkhauser. Okay, let's just see. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna swatch it just to see. Eddie Funkhauser. Oh, we really gotta drag. Mmm. Really gotta drag with that one, don't we? Dry as a Sahara. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes now. We have Paris's Lash Curler. This is giving very Paris. So let's see. We're curling. Oh my gosh. Where did the eyeliner go? Y'all wanna know where? Oh, it's right there. Just stuck right to it. Don't put it against anything, it will come right off. I like to go against my lash line, like, what am I supposed to do? And it's gone from there too. By the way, lash curler is um, not good. Just so we're also very clear on that, the lash curler is not giving. Where did my eyeliner go? Where the fuck did it go? I also have this Monica Dar, which I have used stuff from Monica Dar before and I liked Monica Dar. This is the Lash Legend Lash Primer and Mascara Step. And I think that we should try it. I think the packaging's adorable. I think it's really cute, I just think it's very, you know, adorable-ish. 
I just like the vibe. So we have the lash primer here, a white lash primer. This is gonna have to work extra hard because of how bad the lash curler was. So let's see. I was actually really surprised to see this at Burlington, guys. Like it's a full blown three lash system. And this bad boy retails for $4.99. So let's go ahead and put it on the other side as well. Tell me why it's keeping my curl pretty good. The curl I didn't have. You guys, this is working in overtime and it deserves some love because that is amazing. I should honestly keep it at this. Like, shouldn't I keep it at, like, this is giving much more icy. It's giving North Pole. It's giving Jack Frost. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the mascara now. It has like a more of a spiral wand. I'm gonna really try to coat all that white that was there. Okay, that's what we have right there. Can you guys see? The mascara part isn't very good, I will say. The mascara itself isn't the best. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try a different mascara on this side with the, just a lash primer. Cause I'm kind of pri curious about the primer. Like, is the, is the primer itself good with something else? So I'm gonna use it with Benefit Roller Lash. Holy shit. You guys, the lash primer is giving. Let me tell you that real quick. It's giving. Let me show you guys what my lashes look like on this side with the roller lash with a good mascara, how much thicker and more intense they are. Can you guys tell? Can ya? I promise you there's a very, very big difference. I will say, so even though I didn't like the mascara from here, the lash primer is like pretty good. The Monica Dar one, the lash primer, not bad whatsoever. Kind of impressed actually. I would buy this just for this. Not bad, it's not bad. Okay, so I'm gonna go put some lashes on. I have this from LA Splash, 3D Foam Mink Lashes, which looked really promising for only $5.99. It looked promising. Are they gonna be good? I don't know, but I have faith. They're foam mink, five pairs. And then I also grabbed the, I got a lot of people that were talking to me about the Ioni lashes. The Ioni lashes from when I went to the dollar store, I didn't really grab a pair I liked. People were like, yo, like they have some good ass lashes. So I grabbed the individuals, which look really, really cute and promising. So I'm gonna keep these around, but I'm gonna put a pair of lashes on really quickly and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we have a pair of lashes on. I actually end up grabbing the biggest pair of lashes in there because I feel like with a big ass pair of lashes, you can't really see the eye makeup as much. And that's what I want. Anyways, so let's move on to the lip. I already put a lip liner on. I'm lip lined to perfection, if I do say so myself. By the way, with the lashes, let me just tell you this really, really quick with the LA Splash lashes. The band is extremely stiff and it's kind of hard to bend. It's actually, they were actually very difficult to put on because they were so hard and so stiff, but I feel like the effect is definitely, definitely there. They give off a foam ink vibe. Um, and I think that once you get them on, if you can get them on, they can have a really, really cool effect on the eyes, especially for the price point. Like they're pretty good. They're just a very, very stiff and they're just a little harder to apply, if you will. So I'm lip lined and I want to grab this or try this. These are the Liquid Lip Lacquers Pigment Packed High Shine Lip Colors. So I'm assuming they're like a high shine gloss, a lip lacquer from Tahari Beauty. Let's try her on out. What shade shall we zoom? I'm thinking one of these So I can't, my fingers are weird. One of these two right here. Which one more cool to, I say let's go more cool because my eyes are a little more cool. Let's use this. We're gonna take the shade, the shade no idea, okay? So we have a lip lacquer. I must be confused. Let's try another color. Do you know what I'm confused about? Is where the pigment packed color is. Got it, so there's no color. Once I blended three together, I think that we got to a cute spot with the lip, but high color payoff is not what it is. It feels pretty nice, they're not sticky on the lips whatsoever. They're more of like a very thin, lightweight lip lacquer with literally no color to them almost. Very, very, very sheer coverage, but they look pretty and the shine is nice and they feel comfortable. And that is what I like about things. Okay, cool beans. You guys, that is it for today's video. I'm gonna go through really quickly, just show you guys the things that I do feel like are worth the money. And I think that if you were to buy it and try it, you'd be pleasantly surprised. Okay, first things first, I wanna go and talk to you guys about really quickly is the BB palette or the Bebe palette. I'm not exactly sure how you say this. The Flawless Finish. Um, it's only $6.99 and the blushes, I had to say, I was impressed with. Like the blush is still on me, it's still 
looking really, really nice. They're a little bit powdery, they're a little chalky, I'm not gonna lie, but I think that for the price point with the amount of colors that you get, you can definitely make something work for sure, especially if you're in a pinch and you're like, let me just grab something really quickly. These can work really, really great. I will say the LA Splash Lashes, even though the band is really hard and it's a little harder to get on than another lash might be, for $5.99 to get as many options as you get, for as many styles as you get, and they're foam ink. So I think that overall, these could be a, definitely a nice win, a nice steal. The LA Splash 3D foam ink lashes are like pretty impressive. The Icy palette from Glamlight, is it my color story? No, it is not. It's not the kind of vibe that I enjoy, but I do want to just talk about Glam Glamlight in general. I feel like the quality of the products are amazing. The eye look definitely turned out. It turned out, but I feel like if you do see Glamlight at Burlington or anywhere, and you like the color story of the product, definitely, definitely pick it up because the quality is amazing. I think they're really, really great. And if you like a blue color story, you'll live for this. The quality was incredible, and this was a win. I also really enjoyed the Monica Dar Lash Primer. I didn't like the actual mascara itself, but the primer definitely primed. It definitely made my lashes look thicker when I applied mascara to them, so it definitely did the job, especially for the few dollars that it was. I was like, hmm, buy it and just use this. You don't need, even need the mascara. It's so inexpensive. And last but not least, you guys, I will say that even though it is not what it claimed to be, these Tahari Beauty lip lacquers that are supposed to be full high coverage pigment, they're not in any way, shape, or form. They're actually very, very sheer, but they are nice. They look pretty on the lips and they are pretty comfortable. I can definitely feel them on the lips. It's not like I like they're not like airy and lightweight and like completely, you know, non-existent. I can definitely feel them. But again, for the price, I do think that you, if you guys got them and you want like a, a soft gloss, let's say, or something along those lines, that give you a little bit of a shine to the lip. I think you guys will enjoy them, especially for the price point. But you can literally just have one of them and they're gonna give you very similar colors because they're very sheer. I would say those would be my things that I'd be like, yeah, I think that if you guys bought them, I think you guys would enjoy them. As well as, of course, the Ioni lashes. I haven't tried them yet, but. I have faith. I have faith in Miss Ioni because you guys have faith in her, so I'm gonna have faith in her. But that is it for today's video of shopping at Miss Burlington, dropping $500, even though it's not 500, it's 150. You know how it is. It's part of it's part of the journey. I gotta say, I feel like we also made this work. The Profusion Conceal Palette, the six color concealer. For only $3.99, I feel like we literally got a full-blown bronzing face concealer, the whole fantasy on our face. Like I do, plus foundation. Like I think that if you're in a pinch, like I was saying, you can make this work for sure for the face. At least if you're my color, you can definitely make it work. We got it there, we got it there. It's a little heavy, it's a little intense, uh, a little waxy, but I think that we definitely got it to a good spot. So you guys, I feel like with these products here, I do think that if you were in a pinch and you were in a bind and you wanted to buy something and you know, in these categories and you're like, fuck, I need to buy something really quickly. Or if that's what the budget is and that's what you have for the makeup, totally fine. You know, it is what it is. These products I think will get you there. I really, really do. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun creating it. I love doing videos like this. I really, really do. Finding finds at different stores is really just really fun for me. Where should we go next? I just did Burlington. What store should we do next? I don't know, I don't know. Um, anyway, you guys, I'll see you later. Have a good the night or day wherever you guys are and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, I love you. I just wanted to remind you guys that I look really cute right now. And just just a, fr a very friendly, soft reminder. <laughs> Fuck. Come on. <laughs> the plastic every time. Even though this flies are crazy, even though the stars are blind. I don't think that's how the pair song goes. So I have a spoolie. Where my spoolie? I have faith. I gotta have faith, of faith, of faith. Oh, I never looked at it up close. I don't wanna talk about it. Oopsies, they're no goodsies. Hey there. Whoa, 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 whoa.